Welcome back, ladies and gents. It is time for Flipside Tactics versus Navi here for Star Series Season 12. The winner will go to LAN and join the likes of Envious, Titan, NIP, Virtus Pro, and Team Team. I was gonna say TSM, Team Solomon. TSM. Yes. So our maps, Dan. Our maps are Mirage, Inferno, and Cobble. So I know Virtus. Uh, sorry, Virtus Pro. Navi. They vetoed Nuke and Cash. Why do you think they need to take cash? Do you think just to uh, stop the In power of the double orbs? Yeah, because they've ha they've clearly played more than enough cash today. I suppose so. Yeah, I, I suppose they probably don't play nuke, but also simple is very good on nuke when he gets the opportunity. You know, recently he hasn't against uh, certain teams, but we do start on Mirage, which is also a strong map for flip side. But again, it, it is going to come down to economy, and with the aggression from Navi that we're seeing, do you have to wonder if smokes. flip side? If Flipside will get that economy. The smokes, the Guardian smokes from one corner of the map to the other corner of the map. Guardian will smoke. Ooh. The odds are closing up, Dan. The odds are closing up. They're closing in. That makes more sense. That does make more sense, actually. Now you mention it. Thank yeah. you very much. So, okay. where, 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 where are your odds on this match? Navi. I think Navi will win this. I think they're they're actually. I mean, they're, they have the benefit of being quite warm already as well, having just won an intense match. Damn, they went triple overtime. I think I don't. I wouldn't say they're warm. I think they're hot. Well, we're going to jump into this pistol right now. Here we go. Well, this it's is a knife, a knife. Round, Dan. I thought we'd skip the knife, but we hadn't. There will be no pistols. Oh, look at that view. What would you prefer instead of a knife round? Like a coin flip. The Doku battle, Tetris. Staring contest. Tetrinet. You play, you'd play Tetrinet, didn't you? I did, yes. Oh my god, that game is amazing. Staring contest. Nah, that's, that's lame. Imagine staring contests on land. That would be funny. That would be awesome. And kind of weird. It would be, it'd be good weird. What else, what else could we do? skins what, on a staring contest. What other ways could we replace it? What about... Nah, that's a stupid idea. I was going to say like a DIY project for both teams. You give them like... Like you can have like uh, one of those cooking shows. What you could give them is a and Kinder Surprise. Give, give them a bunch of different ingredients and see who comes up with the best. Kinder Surprise. They have, to eat the, they have to eat the chocolate whole and then make the toy. Whoever makes it first wins. But sometimes you get a toy which requires no construction. Yeah. So you might just win by default. That, that would it's really an that element really of randomness, Dan. I don't like Within that. the chocolates. What about Rubik's Cubes? I can't do Rubik's Cubes. I, I I don't really try. Okay. I don't think I've ever successfully done one. And I probably never will. And I'll probably never try again. Well, it's time for the pistol, guys. It's time for the pistol. We Flip side on the CT, how do you feel about this? Well, it's going to be obviously feeling good for them. I always want to start on the CT side Sim first. Simple has large. been... Simple, Simple and NBK have beef. Really? They have what beef, kind, what Dan. Kind, what kind of beef? They have... Uh, Flaming not, I, mean, I can't say it. Oh, uh, what was that? Okay, are we are we live? I don't think we're live. Or are we live? We're live. We can't be live. Because look at they're running around in T spawn. Oh, they the oh, timer. Oh, the timer, right, right. Okay. right so okay. What was what was look the mad cow smoke. disease code? What? What was the mad cow disease code? Mad cow disease code? Yeah, what, what was the official name for mad cow disease? Like H one I don't know. Something virus. Anyway. I don't know. Because I said they had beef and I was gonna make a reference to it, but I couldn't I I couldn't remember what it was. Anyway. Simple and uh, simple and NBK. Been I, at each I, other's I, I, I kind of missed on the Twitter. I kind of missed where it started. Because it's simple, just like said he's an arrogant guy or something. I'm not even sure where it started. Or, actually. or where did it start? I think I think this is this is I could be wrong on this, but right. But uh, simple put CS God on the end of his name, and I think NBK tweeted uh, something like. Oh my god. Haha, oh, not really a god, or, or whatever, I don't know. Yeah. I, I presume, because that's the only thing I saw on Twitter. But then, like, ages later, Simple's like, You what, mate? You what? You mug, get me off, you mug! So, there we go. That's that. And what was he mugging and him Thor off? And Thorin got a bit Jerry Springer. He got in between, but uh, he wasn't really, like, an Thorin loves that stuff. Loves the drama yeah. between the players. It's good. He was more Jerry Springer than Steve. You know, Steve was the security guard. He was more, he was more Springer than Steve. I don't think about that show. I don't used to watch that stuff, James. Can you imagine a Jerry Springer show, but with Thorin instead of Jerry Springer? Oh, that'd be great. I need to patent that immediately. I'm about to be a millionaire. We should, do you know what? We should just get Thorin on Jerry Springer. Let's just do that. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That'd be amazing. 
Who does have the most? The thing, the thing about cheating on your girlfriend, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is that I can imagine that he wouldn't be able to keep a straight face because he would be. You would see him engineering the chaos, and it, and he would. I don't think he even Thorin would be able to keep able to keep a straight face. He'd be having too much fun from that. He'd be enjoying that too much. He would be so smug. His smugness would be off the charts. I, I would enjoy that to no it would end. Be pretty good. To no end. Like, you could get him, because you know, like, Call of Duty players are really aggressive and horrible people. You could get him on a Call of Duty <laughs> show. That's a very harsh generalization, James. You just said all Call of Duty players are... The console ones, anyway. I think you can generalize Mate, like that. Mate, if you go, if you go to a LAN and see COD... We're, we're live, though, James. You'll, you'll, you'll I think see, we're live. Mate. You'll see. We'll talk about it more later. Yes. All right, guys. We're into the pistol now. Everything has been settled. The config is ready to go for the match. And we're seeing a pretty spread out... Navi side at the moment, and that's a nice pick there from Markov onto Seized. That's going to definitely make things a little bit annoying because the bomb actually was or is in the B apartments. It hasn't been spotted by Flipside just yet, but how do they save this round? They can't really attack into middle, so the bomb is kind of stuck towards B unless they want to swing both uh, swing the bomb to underpass. But that's really risky here. So this is a really hard spot for Navi, I must say. Looks like they are going to go for this, and you can see the bomb is alone, and the bomb goes down, and this is the problem here. The CT is all over the place. The players on A cannot support for Na'Vi, and they've got to go retrieve that bomb. Bondic able to take a quick kill onto Starix, but still, this present issue is... Five versus two, yeah. bombs down and miss. That yeah. is the end of the round, pretty much. Yeah. I Unless you're Edward with an auto sniper. I mean... Oh, wow. Surely Guardian had it. Okay, there we go. Crag happens. That's uh, just Edward left now against four players. Tech 9 though, not the most reliable as guns, but... He's got the gun with no reload function, Dan. 32 bullets in the magazine. But th that was the weird thing about that round, is they lost the guy on B, and it's like they can't... There's no way for them to get the bomb from B to A, unless they run it all the way through to spawn, which would waste a lot of time. But they tried to get it into middle regardless, alone. I just, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure about that, but... Let's side take the pistol, and now have themselves... The pistol armor, the Tech 9 armor to contend with. All right, so we have uh, one person just having a peek up mid. We'll be checking for any flanks, helping ensure safe passage for his team towards the B-bomb site. But it's going to be Markolov who's keeping an eye on things. Again, from where the Na'Vi plays are currently stationed, you can throw a smoke that lands at the end of this balcony where Markolov is standing. It, uh, I think you'd need to throw it a number of times in order for it to potentially be a fake. Otherwise, it is a very slow smoke to pop and does definitely telegraph your intentions. So we're going to have Simple playing on short and Markloff doing the Super Mario Brothers, the SMB. Does not stand for small business. Super Meat Boy. Here we go. Flip side now with Markloff. We're going to get the spray down here. He's got good support as well. Two other players to help clean up World Edit and Blade. And uh, Flipside is certainly very strong. Markov, usually very powerful as a defensive player in these rush situations. Does go down to time. Only two players dead, though, so that's that's actually great because Navi didn't get the bomb down. So in comes the eco from, full eco from them. And so, Dan, our last map today, if it goes, should it go that far, is Cobblestone. Cobblers. Cobbler. I cannot possibly imagine how a map of Cobblestone would go between these two teams. I want to see it. But for now, we are into the first map. And we have the Navi side positioning, them, positioning themselves to go for a push here. Guardian with two flashbangs. Let's have a look at where he is. He's just throwing, throwing them willy-nilly from lower, actually. Very high indeed. Let's see if it goes their way. So far, three frags for the CT side. Make that four. Make that a fifth one as Guardian falls down as a clean sweep. Now, when you're throwing um, flashes onto A, normally it's done from this position here. You line yourself up so this line you can see is on the corner and you just throw in the middle of the wall while you're running and it just uh, bounces out to the site. But never mind that, we are into the first buy round for both teams. Five AKs here for Na'Vi. No, they're playing for a very fast plant there and it <laughs> didn't work out at all. But uh, we do have a decent amount of grenades for Na'Vi. I wonder how this round is going to go for them. It's a pretty standard setup. They do have the bomb drop towards T-Slope, so w I, would, um, I would imagine they'd have like a delayed play onto middle here to get themselves connected control and then hit the uh, three-pronged attack. That's what this looks like at the moment. And uh, the smoke being down is going to give good coverage, and Guardian's able to pick up a, tra a, a uh, frag there as Bondic was going a bit aggressive. That's actually a really helpful 
helpful situation now for Na'Vi. So can we get this? Wow! Oh my wow. god, Zeus. He knows, the ang he knows the angle well that it's probably playing, looking towards uh, underpass. Very common angle for CTs to start, to hold. So very nice uh, play there by Zeus, but trade's coming in, Blade goes up, Blade goes down, and so does Edward. Two versus three in favor of Na'Vi. Simple is stuck. He can't get through the crawl space, and uh, he has no choice but to run towards uh, CT Slope. He'll get taken up by Star X. Markolov finds a frag onto Guardian, so two versus uh, one now. All players tagged heavily. But it will be Markle off the fall. That was a pretty chaotic round there, and it was it is quite awesome for Navi because I mean they, they were essentially getting to execute what they wanted. It was just the fact that Guardian got that, that defensive kill on slope. The interesting thing about that is that if he didn't get that frag, it's very possible that they would have the CTs would have been able to actually see the bomb as well. Because it wasn't that far away from where Guardian what Guardian was. So quite nice that he was able to hold that down. We had to buy here though for flip side in this round and Already seeing well did it, looking towards middle from Connector, and so far, so good. They haven't spotted anybody from the T's. I just want to say quickly, Dan, pay attention to this smoke from Bondic. Look how he's, he smokes Palace from this position here, just like that. And uh, that's a very safe way to smoke the Palace, and look how it finishes up. So just to the right of the piece of wood there, something you can try at home. That's really good as well. Uh, Guardian able to take down Simple, though, over towards Shorts. So good stuff here in Wilder, they're getting smoked off. So they're all, so they're super off defense. The crossfire is completely eliminated as the smokes rain down. And now the push comes in onto the B bomb site. And well that it is trying to look for those shots, but it just gets flashed away. And they buy themselves so much time with the grenades to get every position they want. And nobody's even touched here for Na'Vi. And you'd want to see Flipside saving these weapons now. It's going to be eco if they lose this. Well, they will be eco next round, so they need to keep these weapons alive. They might just have a shot at taking the following one. And uh, I do enjoy how, how Navi are playing so far. It's very clean. They have a lot of phases to their pushes. And uh, so far they're executing well. So let's get a last few players essentially cleaned up here. And when I say phases to the pushes, I kind of mean that... Uh, that they take they take certain spots together as teams to set up this next bit, to set up the next bit, to set up the next bit. And that's that's how they're playing at the moment. And uh, when you've got players like Guardian winning the duels against Simple, that helps massively. Let's see if Simple can get back on board here. He's got a scout though. He's got a scout and he wants to play short with that orc, but he needs the money for it first. And this is what I'm talking about. 3-2 in favor of Flipside. Just one round, but looking at their money, it's not anywhere near where they want it to be. So well did it. Again, in uh, CPL, we have Zeus just waiting, ready and waiting. Oh, he's going to get that nade in. That's going to do a little bit of damage. Actually, that's minimal damage. It's amazing and, uh, how uh, like the slightest millimeter can be the difference between 50 damage and no damage from a grenade. And I like how safely they've been trying to take middle here. They didn't push up until they could smoke There's it down. There's that angle again we spoke about. Zeus pre-firing it for the second time and taking down Blade this time. They're using smokes really well at the moment, Na'Vi, to get control of middle. And then they're using it to make everything safe. But what is it still in CPL? And they might not realize this. We'd expect the rotation as they challenge into Markolov. And it's going to be Guardian with the trade to get his team into position here. But they are still are not on the B-bomb site. So flip side with a much better response to this aggression here. Oh, Simple's actually quite dangerous there, but Guardian will eliminate him. Guardian's got more work yet to do, as even though it's a two on three in favor of his team, Seized and Zeus are very weak. Okay, so Guardian trying to identify where the final plays are. Maybe looking for a rotation, but Bonnick has made himself known on the site. 18 seconds left. There isn't time to rotate over to mid. Well, then it gets the flank, gets the person in apps as well. That's the bomb down. Guardian has to kill both these players now because there is no time for him to uh, get that bomb, he's going to make a run for it. Try and, try and save the AWP. Try and uh, turn on a can opener in the next round. Bondic and Wilder it will survive. This is kind of, kind of brutal though for Na'Vi because you know, they just got their money bonus reset. So it's going to make it quite hard for them to buy. But they're going to force it up actually. Having done so much damage in each round, they want to keep the investment going. They don't want to just say, well, we tried. Let's just cut, let's cut our losses. No, they're going to keep investing into actually breaking Flipside's economy here. And with the two ops that they now have, it's certainly going to be difficult, but they're going to give it a try. Guardian did drop a Galil. So let's see if they can break middle now, because they've got the setup to push Connector again with two players. 
And, uh, and then the one player who's at the top of, uh, of mid, who can come in and help them. So let's see if they can pull this one off. It's good money management here by flip side. Last round, well, that it had two thousand dollars in the bank, and uh, starting with fifty-four fifty in this round, he will have the cash to finance. Simple. Gonna take two attempts. Oh, Ooh. look at that! Just a one tap. Look at the range on that one tap as well. That's, That's insane range. Oh my goodness, Edward with a great response there onto Markolov. Might just get more yet. Yeah, he will the flick onto World at it, Edward. Star or performance on the B-bomb site, just cutting open the team as we have Zeus now aggressive towards the A-bomb site to find Bondic, one of the two remaining players. And all of a sudden, thanks to Blade as well, they go two on two. But this, with 40 seconds left, is certainly going to be advantage Na'Vi as they move into the A-bomb site together. They will find that two on one as uh, Blade and Bondic move closer and closer together. But Blade is going to be a uh, bit far away here. Unable to support Bondic directly. Blade is miles away. He could barely be further away than he is right now. Going for the counter flash to try and bait any reaction, but it's going to be Bondic to defend here. First is the uh, bomb plant. They've realized there's an issue. One of them's heavily tagged. He's going for a quick peek to see what's going on. Cannot stop the bomb from going down, but Blade is in a strong position now. Uh, sees is in the firebox area. Gets a frag onto Blade. One versus two now. And uh, this is a horrible crossfire. He's got two flashes. No nades. One nade could make this uh, one versus one. But there, that's going to do the job. Seize is blind. He could get a jumping frag on him now. Oh, he goes oh! for the jump, but Seize punishes it. He expects it. Oh, so smart. And he shuts him down. That was... I had no idea the Tech 9 one-tap range was that long. It was so sick. That yeah. was crazy. And it was a great counter. They, they tried to flash. They tried to smoke mid once. They failed. They smoked it a second time. Well, then it was out of the game. They know Simple is, is going to peak from mid, uh, from short story. He has to peak. And he just got one tapped by the Tech 9. The range of that thing is insane. I love how smart, smartly the 1 and 2 was played by Bondic, though, just flashing out that position. But see now if uh, Flipside can do some extra damage here, because in comes the push onto this B site. And it's going to be rough for them. But that said, uh, there will come actually one kill, and Guardian goes down fairly low. Simple now on the flank will be expected. Here is the welcoming party, just the side, just ADing uh, Simple to death with the Tech 9. HLTV, expected. And uh, just two left now, looking for their frags as well. And uh, Na'Vi have done well to come back into this match. They, they were put into a pretty precarious series of situations, but they've, they've been showing some good T play. And I feel like flip side, you know, we we haven't we didn't really get to see the double up going properly because Because Edward. Because Edward yeah. How to how to hard <coughs> counter flip side on your own. Yeah. By Edward. But that was that was so crazy. Smoking a tech nine. Because he he then picked up the orb and then hit a pretty phenomenal shot where he was kind of wasn't ready for it, was kind of like looking elsewhere and then kind of sweeping like God. Awkwardly Guardian. snaps back. Yeah. And then picks up the one on one against World Edit's AWP. So, so that's pretty insane. That's a really insane way that to do it. That was a monster round. And that's going to ruin Flipside for a considerable amount of time here. Double eco from them. And now what it does get a kill onto Guardian. He uh -oh. will pick up the weapons. So that's not good for, for Na'Vi. This is worst, worst case, really, at the start of the round. If he could rotate to an unexpected position with that AWP, he could do uh, some terrible damage. Terrible. But look at the uh, mid control here from Na'Vi. CPL is smoked off. And Blade now, you can see he's changed his position. Although he is closer uh, with that pistol now. He's rotated out of the connector as the smoke has uh, completed. I love how he flashed his Edward towards Ladderin. And it's going to be a quick kill onto Simple because of that. And uh, just keeping it safe. But what it is the issue. And he may even want to just play on the outskirts, just keep his AWP alive. No reason to uh, squander it. You have to wonder. Bombic uh, should go down here. You have to wonder if um, Na'Vi are pushing A because they expect well, they let's pick up the, the AWP and rotate to B. Mm. It's possible, but now they have all the information. They spotted the AWPer. They don't know exactly necessarily where the next player is, but to be honest, I think they're only really concerned with World Edit and potentially hunting him down. But if we quickly do a check on the money, we can see whether or not that's a worthwhile investment for them. And after winning this round with the explosion, it's like 3500 in the bank for them. So they're going to have pretty decent money. So it, you could definitely say that it... it it could be a good good pickup to take down World Edit here, but you can see Markov. He's positioning himself to in case there's uh, exits through connector. But 
They will go for the safe route. Obviously, knowing the location, the last known location of the AWP, they will head towards T spawn. And uh, no one will die there. So Guardian currently 8 and 6. Blade currently 13 and 5. Simple with all of one frag somewhere. NBK is laughing in a chair. <laughs> I think he's probably on a plane right now. I think they're all off the Katowice at the moment. Oh, yeah, of course. So, uh, gonna have the C CPL smoke, connect the smokes, and so all this kind of stuff here. Just uh, gonna make the A play happen. Navi haven't really done a super fast play yet. It's about to arrive. Now, how well can Flipside defend this? They do actually have decent positions, but depending on which set play Navi go for, Depends on how hard potentially some of these positions like Bondic, who's the most dangerous, can get shut down. If Bondic gets the two frags that he sh really sh should get in a position like this. Oh, this Molly should, could force Bondic out of his position, actually. How is he going to line this up? Is that going to go into his area? Not really. Smoke blocking things off, but here comes a push here from both sides. Well, the push from the T's. The fence going to force him to push wow. through the smoke and there's a frag from World in it. They know his position now but is he going to go is he going to go to the world a second time? He is but he won't find the frag a third time and he gets taken out there. Too many repeats there. Went to the world too many times but the frags going wow. the way on the flip side. Simple. Simple. Turns on the rage mode there coming out with three frags. Monster round from him. Two ops save for flip side. Yeah he's going to reap the rewards of that one. Rewarded, rewarded with a nice big op. Really nice. That's that control though is so strong. And that's, that's, he, that's heard, he heard the calls. He knew he was under pressure. Yeah, what well, did it? Actually, I'm surprised that he didn't get that s the second kill. He was trying really hard for that, but yeah, yeah. that's the that's the risk with with playing CT as well. If you repick the same place so many times, you're gonna get taken out. Blade has the angle and finds the frag onto Zeus. Bondic coming in for support. Perfect timing. That's a bomb down as well. And Edward's dead. Takes down Caesar as well. Five versus two. In a matter of seconds here, Zarek stuck behind a smoke. Teammate is on A slope. Guardian. Uh, have to hopefully the uh, CTs can coordinate here. Guardian is in the flames. Forced well away. No support for his teammate. Simple is continuing with his massacre of the Na'Vi team. And Flipside are looking very strong indeed at the moment. Guardian, I presume there was a smoke there that we couldn't see. But uh, Bondic will finish things off. And that's a solid 6-5. That's a statement from Flipside. They got r shut down super hard because they just put two players on Shadow, basically. That's like that, that one player that you don't, don't expect to be there. That, and he had a silencer as well. So they were dying. They have no idea that a guy is shooting them. Basically, everyone in the back. He it's came out like the jack-in-the-box with a machine gun, Dan. A silence machine gun. A silence machine gun. The mini gun. But silence. And... Uh, there is the smoke. They've been doing that consistently, but what are this mostly been just staying in CPL anyway? Actually, well, they missed it at the time that Edwards uh, went went nuts. He had to manually do it himself from top mid. Okay, so merging into mid, make that two. Edward and Guardian, sorry, Edward and Zeus, heading up short as we have a B split on our hands here. A few men on the uh, B site trying to hold his defense down. Simple is back. And he's got an orb stolen from Navi in the last round. Two frags for him. Make that three. This guy's fuming right now. He wants blood. He's frothing at the mouth then. That was pretty sick there from Simple. And that, that's kind of what you ex would expect. All, all that needs to happen now is Edward needs to pick up a Tech 9. And just walk up short. And then annihilate him yeah. again. That's and then all is well. The yin, the yin meets the yang. Exactly. <laughs> It's a pretty sad, like, Yang, if, if, if simple is, <laughs> is a simple AWP versus the Tech 9 Edward. That's like kind of a weird <laughs> thing, but, but that's the state of the game right now. So here we go. We've got a 7-5 scoreline. We're drawing closer and closer to the end of the first half. And double AWP here is starting to pay off now for Flipside. They can't really afford to drop any more rounds as uh, well, they get flashed into a peak. Oh, does only get the tag, though. Shooting on the move as uh, all the set play smokes come in, Blade cutting the site in half. Strong position here to punish the smoke pushes, and there's the first one. Whether they're just spraying through the smoke, gonna find Starks as he emerges here. So only two people left for Na'Vi. Guardian surrounded there, Bonnie gonna find a frag. He should go straight for the defuse. In fact, he will, as there are no Na'Vi players left. That's the problem with these smokes, is that, well, it's a gamble because uh, if Flipside push the smokes, then, then, then the game is on. And if they don't look the right way at the right time, 
It's anyone's. It's nice though, because they just I think they just wanted the bomb down, so it's a pretty worthy investment just to get the bomb down. And look at, uh, look at the cash. Look at the cash. And now that's gonna give them a good buy. Because they know that they can't really hurt Flipside's economy all that much at this point. Not with especially two rounds especially exactly. So they just need to look after their own economy. So I like that they decided to go with a round that's designed to get them a bomb plant. And it did. And now they can have this uh, solid situation on their, their weapons. But how are they going to handle middle at the moment? Simple is just chilling on short with the AWP. And he's been pretty on point. That is for sure. And I love Ooh, how cautious Navi are with the grenades. So that's a good one for short, it would seem. It's all the window there. It's going to cut off Simple's vision. And I, I love this from Navi. They've got smokes for everything. And it's really helping. Now moving really fast up to Connector. Well did it with a fast response. So able to drop C's where he stands. Another frag coming in onto Edward. And frag after frag. And his flip side are just crippling Navi. They've got two players left. And there's five on the A bomb site. Guardian has a lot of work ahead of him. How on earth do they break this? It's too late to rotate. Just gonna creep into the site. Silent assassins here. Although Guardian's uh, scope will tell a story. Oh, I think he needs to go for a warbang through the toll booth, surely. Doesn't find the frag onto simple, just too fast. And a plant for sure, but well done it. <laughs> With four players He's around. Gonna him. take him out. I, I admire, I admire the bravery. I respect he that. He went down on his sword. <laughs> I do, I do want to say, um, I think, I think, like, the tech nine on short in that, in that um, instance, I think was probably fair because he got rewarded for closing the distance. Although it was, Although it was, <laughs> <not much laughs> distance, it was a lot of distance. <laughs> it was more than we expected, but it's interesting. It's interesting. Oh, what a shot. So fast, this Guardian guy. His lightning fast reflexes are going to give his team a, a, a one-man advantage early on in the round as well that it falls. And that is definitely going to allow them a, an easier way into middle. But Simple's got other ideas. What a jump there. So brave, but Guardian with the punish. And it had oh. to come this way. That's three kills from him. And now it's just Bondic left. And he can't really save anything because there's nothing to save right now. The bomb. Look where the bomb is. Yeah, bomb only just being picked up now by Guardian. And where will it rotate? Oh, they've 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 crossed paths, Dan. Bonix on B. Caesar's in shot. And the bomb. Oh, this is very weird indeed because the bomb is now heading on its own towards the bomb site, which I have to presume is clear. He's gonna let him run in. Oh, he gets a frag as well. Guardian's like, Oop. and he didn't get the plan out of this. Something yeah, they've got lots of time on the clock though for the T side. Cavalry running in there, just going to trample on Bondic with their horses. And that's going to be that. 9-6 in favour of Flipside. After a horrible start for them. That yeah. is a significant comeback. Yeah, they played really, really well. But that said, some, you know, some of the rounds Na'Vi won, the way in which they won them, including this, there's so much star factor going into some of these performances. Like, for example, that one round where Edward strolled up and just got the kill on Simple, but then he picked up two really legit shots with the AWP which completely destroyed the round for flip side. We had Na'Vi with some great pushes on middle as well with excellent smoke work to cover their way into position upon position until they could actually come into the full assault. But that said as well, despite all of their amazing plays in that sense, flip side managed to have such a strong defense. They had so many excellent like just one-on-ones. And the skill in this, in this match at the moment is just so high level. It's ridiculous. I haven't seen any Tiger Tooth uh, knives with a reference to Thundercats, which is disappointing. But yeah. Na'Vi with five Kevlars That's now. That's young, James. Indeed. Five young. Kevlars on Na'Vi. These millennials. Three on the flip side. Bunch of uh, flashbangs and a smoke. And a push here from Na'Vi. First round, a pistol round. And they are already bringing the aggression. Edward is going to get the information. Finds a bomb. Finds a frag as well. All the frags going the way of Na'Vi right now. They are three to zero at the moment. Only two players remaining for flip side, and now it's their turn for the bomb to be dropped in mid with only two players alive versus five. Now it's all down to World Edit. This is uh, an unwinnable situation. All we know, we'll say snipers in this round. Oh, oh it's oh, head oh. off the wall as well. Oh my god, that was brutal. I love this ragdoll, man. It's the ragdoll's awesome. I, I, I want more ragdoll. Shout out to the ragdoll, best supporting actor. Can we just get like uh, Can we make it so the physics? 
there is uh, twice as much, let's say, like kinetic force, if you will, on the ragdolls so that they jump twice as far or whatever. I don't know how to. Yeah, let's just put, let's just bring in a plasma gun as well, Dan. Let's go. Let's just go all the way. Well, if you're gonna bring in any gun, give me the railgun, please. We have a quick oh. push on to A though. Here from flip side as they try to make the pistol armor work. And in fact, they didn't actually get invest in much armor. Many of the players just gonna go for that quick quick play onto that bomb and it is oh, actually going to work out. They get some kills. One by one. Why would you do that without your teammates? This is just crazy. That's how you lose rounds. And it could very well be the case here. They've got the bomb down, but there come the rifles. But bomb planted, two frags is an excellent result there from Flipside. Na'Vi certainly going to be reeling a little bit after that one. And they're going to be put in this position now where Flipside can buy and Na'Vi are going to be fragile against Z the AKs. Zeus may have been actually going for an information play there because while while he dies, he f he will find the location of a number of his team of of, the, mm. of his opponents through the smoke. So it's better that he goes in first on his own than the whole team runs through smoke and die. Actually, so maybe an information play there. He sacrificed himself for the good of his comrades, Dan. For the king of the north. Here we go. Simple going to go down straight away to guardian and. Uh, Actually, uh, if they can get this round fairly clean, they might be all right against the AKs. You already have the AWP out. Only lost one player. There's a second one. Can Markov get this gun? He will. Oh, he can hold short as well, which means... Oh, he's going to look away. Okay, he's position positioning himself so he can assist short. Should he need to, he can pop out. Maybe go for a trade frag. Oh, well, it's coming in from the back as well. He might just get heard stepping quite heavily here, but his position is not giving away. Does he make the kill or not? It's, uh, not sure what's going on yeah. there. Well, did it? But uh, Starks at the back. Have to take down one world, and it's still unknown here behind the smoke. Ooh, Guardian through the smoke and everything. How does he know? Has he got time? Oh, it's going to be a yeah, close one. He's, he's fine. He's got this. Oh, yeah, he has. You know, when your diffuse isn't going to go well, when the guy says, Oh crap, that means it's not you're, you're not going to get the, the diffuse. That's it's mad spoilers. Yeah, it is. Okay, nine to nine, we're tied up here, and Navi have a, a decent start, decent enough. Simple had six grand in the bank, went for the late buy, was discussing whether or not they should have the second door, but he's opted for the AK. Something that we should definitely note. So where are our oppers? Let's have a look. So what is it? it's looking for the delayed middle poke. And uh, Guardian, oh, he might spell a pixel, but what is it? too quick. Too quick. It's a good nade, but small consolation after losing you're Orpa. Well, that it has a battle scarred safari mesh. I respect his swag. Oh, Edward, he, you know he, he's hungry for an AWP. After that previous performance, he's got to be hungry for an AWP here. They've got two players towards CPL, actually, for Na'Vi. And the rotation's coming in now from the split side players. They want to hit A, and they want to hit it hard. And Na'Vi don't really have the best positions on the site to really deny that if the smokes go down correctly from flip side. So this is going to be really hard for Na'Vi to defend with just Starx in this position. Unless he can come out huge in some way, this round is looking very nice for Flipside at the moment. Zeus is going for an AWP of his own. Well, this might just be the difference they needed. In comes World Edit though, on T-Slope, and there's Zeus at the back. Again, good position, but gets taken down by World Edit, and in they go now. And Starx could be popping one head, finds the second player, three kills from Starx, holding it down for his team on the A-bomb site. And now World Edit is stopped dead in his tracks, has to pick up the bomb, but the angle is held. What a shot though, but 10 seconds left to get the bomb planted. And Na'Vi, thanks. To Starix. I'd say thanks to Lock Zeus. Lock it down. I'd say thanks to Zeus. Because thanks to Zeus. Zeus being here and Starix. playing the CT position, basically, he even if he, if he goes down, then he becomes bait for Starix. Starix right, right, right. holding this position with the silenced M4 just goes undetected because, of, because, it's, because it's silenced there. So it's a combination of the two that, well, Zeus's death allowed Starix to just go ham sandwiches. Agreed. And that has that's made a big, huge difference because now Na'Vi, instead of ecoing, Flipside are on the eco, and the CT economy is, uh, is essentially nurtured, being nurtured at the moment, cultivated, becomes something greater. And they've only lost one player here in this anti-eco, and that's going to be it. That's how it's going to stand. There's a bit of a splay there. This gun flies out of nowhere. 11 to 9, and here comes the buy. Okay, so do Flipside go all in here do with they? two warps. 
If they do, then Simple has no helmet. Going to go for the AK. Markolov could have dropped him on, actually, then he could have bought a helmet, but never mind. They are going for the conservative buy here, looking for... But the thing is, I, I think that the T side is where Simple is better to free roam. Because on, on the CT side, it may not be um, as useful to have him as the first author, but on the, on the, uh, on the T side. Mm. And I think that, that's where you can exploit his skills to the fullest. Yeah, I would but then, but then um, Simple's probably a better rifler than... Yeah, that's probably what the thing is. Yeah. That is probably the issue. So, also the mobility is a big issue as well. But there is Guardian. Able to take down World Edit. That's going to cut off the uh, play who's supposed to deal with rotation. That means mid is open for a fast rotate for Na'Vi to respond to this A push. All the nades are down. Na'Vi, they're going to lose Starix here on the bomb site. Should be the bomb planted soon here for Flipside if they can keep up the grenades. And in. Navi go now. They've had enough of this. Looking for the defensive place. And that bomb is yet to be planted. And Navi just cutting them to pieces. Flip side. How do they get onto this site right now? Bondic in with a frag by stairs. Gonna be sprinting towards jungle. Trying to get behind enemy lines, but he's the last man standing for this effort. What a snap though onto Edward. Two players left though. With 30 seconds oh, to go. Oh, missed a shot guardian, and that's gonna allow Bondic to plant the bomb here. They're going for a flank through mid onto short. And uh, Guardian's going to be creeping the uh, shop area. That is a very wall bangable spot. Oh, look at the damage he's done already, though. C's going to have to back off. And Ryan Guardian, Guardian Ooh. eventually gets to frag. Look at the health on both these players. Four and 22 HP. That could have gone either way. Great effort there by Bondic. Uh, the, the sick thing as well is that if he killed Guardian, he would have been able to actually move more to the left as well. So it would have changed his engagement because he would have been like, okay, I can't get shot from here. So he has more space to play with, but not having the kill on Guardian meant that he, he was kind of stuck in where he could move. So yeah, very, very close, 12 to nine, and Na'Vi looking to be taking quite an edge in this game, but can flip side get themselves uh, an edge back of their own? Aggressive so play from Edward though. Let's have a look at that. Another safe uh, smoke grenade there. So lots of nice angles on these smokes from Na'Vi. Uh, they're smokes we see all the time, but they're, they're doing them in ways that may be relatively new. Maybe it's preparation so for Katowice. Nice push there Love by Edward, that. taking down Markolov. Going to put the uh, flip side team on crutches for the remainder of this round. And Na'Vi looking better and better to take this first map. It's so eloquent though, because he's pushed there looking into the wall in that little cubby hole. And then the teammate drops a pop flash in for him. And then he peeks and then leaves. I just love how tight that is. And sees with the push on the apps is going to be spotting everything they need to know. Two players top mid. They know that it's going to be essentially the uh, flip side working into middle and working into A here. That's their objective. As well that it creeps up. And they spotted the bomb as well. Guardian takes the pick onto World it. And what do they have left to work with now? That Edward takes the frag. Bondic though with a response, but it's cut short by Guardian. Back to the pistol round where the bomb's down in mid and it's two versus, well, four this time, but only simple remains here and his rifling won't be good enough to uh, take out Guardian on this occasion. Yeah, Navi was a really good round there and uh, I, just, I just love play little cute little plays like that that they had in underpass that claimed them the first frag in, and in doing so enabled them to have better pressure on middle. As a CT side, that's always good. Oh, they're serious, James. Look at this. They're just all going straight up. Hit the fast timing. What can they do with this one now? As uh, Na'Vi going to get caught off guard here. Quick cap. Kill there from Bondic. As he starts getting himself in with a frag of his own. Oh, my goodness. What are the jumps into it from behind the smoke? That's gutting there. The flip side. This Zeus guy, will it, will it ever stop? There's another kill from him. And it's just... Bondic left. Bondic versus Ford. They've managed one frag in this round. That is uh, a bit of a disaster there. Like how his hands are. <laughs> After some reason, it's weird. Got over that x ray. So that was, a, that was a difficult one for them. It was nice, nice shock and awe there, but um, yeah, didn't go their way in the end. So Navi, a team that has made almost every single uh, LAN, has had to go through hell. Oh, I did want to point out that uh, you saw Bondic got the frag there from outside of Palace, and he instantly started spraying through the smoke, something that people forget to do. You know, it's a very likely place where there may be a number of CTs towards Jungle Connector when it's smoked off, so um, spraying with the AK, nothing to lose there. Did do a bit of damage as well. 
quick peek there from Guardian. And uh, here you go, flip side managing to take over middle. And again, they're setting up for that, uh, that three-pronged attack through onto the A-bomb site. As you can see, the challenge onto connector here from Markolov. As the smoke is down still. And it's, uh, it's got teammates in place on Palace in the slope. And uh, well did it can stay in middle, ready to cut off rotation with the AWP. Whatever he chooses to do, even... Oh, he's got the AK, even able to jump into CPL. But in comes the push. Trey comes in. Two CT stuck behind the smoke. They're going to push through it, though, to get the frags. To get this defense rolling on through. But it's not happening there. Flip side. Have eliminated everyone but Guardian. He has to do this now he's for got his to push. Nice shot, though, onto Simple. Two players left him with that smoke down. Suddenly, this becomes quite doable for Guardian. The dedicated AWPA of Na'Vi. Doesn't know where one of the players is. Ondik, where are you? Guardian's thinking as he goes for the fake defuse, but there comes the shots through the smoke, and that's going to tag Guardian and put him off as he falls back to a safer place. Bondic peeks out and gets the kill. Can they get the orb. Yes. Can they bring this back? Is it possible? Of course it's possible. <laughs> They're not too far away, score-wise. They're far away money-wise. Well, maybe not if they can string one, maybe two rounds together. But here we are. Orp, back onto World Edit. Galil on Markolov. And uh, three AKs here. They've got a reasonable amount of nades on the flip side team as well. Look at this setup from them. It's very, very limited potential to defend anything in middle and connect. They've, they've kind of committed hardcore to Shadow. For Navi. Yeah, although they did lose. They just, uh, sorry, they just moved Edward away from B. They had two on the site for a while. Oh, Markolov just caught the uh, grenade on the T-Cozy there. 40 HP, massive chunk taken off from him. And he is the player who has been positioned into uh, connector, as per usual. Well, did it throwing that familiar smoke now to cut off jungle, but keep connector open for the team. They only have one person towards A. That simple. He's dead. So there will not be a two-pronged assault here. Well, they, they are going to, in fact, rotate towards B, but the game may be up now as Markolov tries to run backwards in uh, connector and will fall as well. And one by one, the flip side team are being annihilated right now. Bondic, last to fall. Guardian going to finish him off on the site. And that is game points to Na'Vi yeah. here, looking to take game one. That was a nice a nice uh, attempt there from flip side, getting Markov into connector. If he'd actually won that duel against, uh, I think it was maybe... I don't, I don't know who it was. But if he won the duel in connector and held that down, he would have been able to delay and actually create a situation where... They would have a very strong chance to win that B push, but... He may have had a better chance had he not been naded to mm. 60 HP before he got anywhere near Yeah, that, that, that definitely hurts. We have the same thing from Edward this time. Uh, oh, wow. What is this? The Tech-9 is brutal. Tech-9 down, of course. Uh, what else? That one-shot range is insane. I think he tapped him twice there in first. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Either way. Look at this, the parkour across there from Simple. Going to go straight up close and personal. Eliminates Guardian, picks up his AWP. And now you've got Simple behind enemy lines with an AWP. That is not a good looking. Bondic now finding himself a Tech 9 kill as well. As it's just seized and seized left. And Let's look at the money now on the CT mm. side. How many rounds in a row they won? It's much easier to see with like the clear visualization there. I love that. Yeah, it's a very nice addition there. Okay, so. Look at these T's swarming around the A-bomb site. Okay, so Zeus and Zeus going to save. They're looking for swag, looking for, for booty, Dan. How much money do we have on RV anyway? Just to be I clear, in English, to booty can mean like gear and prizes and stuff. Not just the Beyonce version. <laughs> Beyonce edition. <laughs> Beyonce edition. <laughs> booty also means swag. Yeah, like a pirate's... Swag is in like a bag <laughs> of swag. Big booty. Not as in like swag. We're not right. in a club right now, guys. We're nerds. That's true. That is I'm, true. I'm a massive nerd. That is also true. I love nerds. Fair enough. Okay. So here we go. Simple's on the AWP. He's not going to be passing that over to World Edit anytime soon, it would seem. Guardian, obviously, still opting for a team. They still have some money left. How close are they to Eco here? Financial Who? report, let's go. Na'Vi. All right, so yeah, they're actually within realms of an eco soon. So flip side, if they are able to take this one, things could look much better for them. They can maybe pull this into that overtime situation. Ooh. But uh, 
Simple's getting sprayed through the wall onto sh from short there, down to 10 HP. You saw the uh, CT advancing on the angle there, and he is left with uh, not much at all to work with. He does have the ult though, but he's going to need to be very fast on the trigger indeed. It's interesting now that they've, now they've thrown Simple the, the, uh, the AWP as opposed to Wild at it, but now he may not get an opportunity to see what he can do. The bomb is down on the A bomb side. That is all the information Navi need right now. Two frags coming in for them. They have a one man advantage. Markov gonna even things up. He's gonna do a 180, get another frag, make it two versus one. Sees the last player on short. Simple's in a position to punish him for trying to rotate now. You can see Simple hunting him now. And he finds him. Oh my god, Markov. What the hell was that? That was amazing. That was insane. 180, do you know who I am? Thank you very much and goodbye. Okay, 15 to 12. Na'Vi, and you know, losing that, look at their money. They're, they're broke. <laughs> so I can pull this too in overtime. It's bad news, Brown. James, we need more overtimes today. We need, we need 10 more overtimes today, at least, please. 10? 10 overtimes. I, I, I wouldn't go that far. We need 60 rounds of overtime. What's wrong with you? Okay, so once again, it's a similar opening from flip side. Oh, but look at the mid control from Na'Vi. Guardian, he's up there. He's large and in charge, and he's completely white. This shows you how well Flipside understands Na'Vi, because they're expecting this. This is the same round for Flipside, but just way more passive and defensive and further back, because they're expecting aggression. So smart from them. Only Seeds and Guardian have armor. Well, did it? Is that a CPL smoke? Indeed it is. So the thing is, Flipside have to be careful that they don't give themselves too little time to clear out a site. And they've got to clear out a site with two orps and three uh, rifles here. And that's kind of the problem in a round like this, two orps. Oh, Edwards! Well, they've got one orp now. Oh, that's dirty. That deagle, the dirty deag. See, 35 seconds remaining. Bondic starting to emerge onto the A site. Gets an important frag, pulls out a flashbang, still gets a frag onto Zeus, he cannot convert. Four versus two now. Bomb is in fact going towards B, so... Uh, they're doing it well. Edward gets assassinated from the back. And a bit of a check of the site. And Simple will plant it for sure. Caesar's so got himself the AWP though, that Guardian drops. He still has his armor as well. So if he can save this, then who knows what could happen in the following round. Let's have a look at the CT cash. Cash in the bank. They will get a third round, uh, third round loss bonus here. So they will be able to get a reasonable buy. Oh, to this one. Let's see how much Zeus ends up with, as he only has $400 in the bank. So that'll be an extra 2400 for them. So let's do some math, James. Yeah, that'll be on easily enough to buy. Healthily. Do you know the trick for remembering their money loss bonus? No. Six, my friends. Tell me. Told stream. So Tell everyone. So it's always a 4 and a 9. So it's 1400, 1900, 2400. 2900, 3400. It's always a 4 and a 9. Yeah, so What's the first one? So, so 1400. Where's the 9? 1900. But that's the second one. There's no 9 in the first one. No, but I'm just saying like alternates. It's oh, 494. Four. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, you see what I mean. Okay. That's, that's, that's the trick. All right. So you get to 3400. So what's the third one? 3400. No, that's the fifth one. <laughs> 14, 19, 24, 29. Tweet it. 34. Tweet it. Okay. You're just confused. You're just saying numbers <laughs> now. All right. All right. So Simple's going to get that pick onto the connector guy, but there's the trade from Guardian. Simple is really far up. He just This guy is, is angry. He's mad. He wants more kills. He's rabid. But Guardian will put the stop on him, and they need to get some map control going here because at the moment, they don't have connector yet. So how, how much more map control are Na'Vi willing to give away now because they've kind of fallen back out of the uh, the first kind of frags at the start of the round. They've fallen back into safer positions. Oh, we can see his toes. Oh, they actually got the tag. They tagged they each tagged other. They tagged each other, yeah. So Had an exchange of bullets. Oh, Markov, he spotted, but he doesn't seem to realize. And now he's dead. One man advantage, Na'Vi. Bomb is still in a passive position. Let's see where it's going to rotate. Presumably towards A, you can see Bondic is at the end of the palace. Starx is just waiting for him. Starx has positioned himself so he's not exposed to uh, lower A, but now he's exposed because no one's covering his back. Guardian has been eliminated. Gets a frag onto Bondic, though. Maybe you heard him in palace earlier on. Who's going to win this duel? 
Blade versus Starix with World in it for support. Going to even up the numbers now. Starix eventually falls after doing the damage he did. The bomb goes down. One versus one. Seed's going to try and rotate his position. Eight seconds remaining. World well, it has to plant here. He's going to plant for short. And uh, sees position unknown. What well, did it looking towards last known, but has to realize surely that he may have rotated. Oh, he's going to tag him through, and it's going to be next one wins 17 HP versus 18 HP. Well, did it will prove victorious and keep flip side in this game. One round away from tying things up here, playing for overtime again. And right now, we can see that Navi have a terrible buy, it's terrible. And flip side, when they know that Na'Vi are down on their luck, they tend to play very defensively early on in the round, so not to get caught off by anything. And again, you see the same positions. Now this d does very well against fast mid pushes, does well at its position. So Na'Vi, there's, they're kind of damned if they do and damned if they don't as far as aggression goes, because they need to find out what's happening. They need to get their bodies in the right places immediately to have oh, a look defense. Look at aggression here. Starix doing what Starix does, and that's mad aggression in lower A. He's finding out the information. Look at the fast rotation here. The push is coming in as well from the flip side team towards the B bomb site. We've got Molly's coming out. We've got counter flashes. No frags for either team yet. Markelov is in danger of dying, and indeed he will. Combination of Edward and Guardian. Trade coming in. Bonnick taking down two. Bonnick taking down three. And that's going to be a wide open B bomb site. Can he get the plant in time? Zeus is in position, but the flank is there from World Edit. He's going to take him down as well. Only Starrix remaining. And you have to favor overtime here. One versus three. He's been spotted now as well. He's going to be stuck in a crossfire. And World Edit just going to take him down. We are into OT1. I'm telling you, 60 rounds of overtime today. We already had loads of overtimes today. We already had how many overtimes did we have earlier today? Three. Three overtimes. So how many rounds is that? I don't know that. I just, there's, no. there's loads of rounds. 31. There's, there's too Guardian. many rounds. That's way too many rounds. Guardian is on the 30 bomb. There may be a slight delay before we continue this match. So, while well, there is. So, in 30 rounds, Seized has not got double figures yet. Don't, don't draw attention to that, James. <laughs> Why not? Because what if you're Seized, that's really mean. This is what, this is what we do, Dan. Oh, that's true. We're not going to shy away from these stats. We've got okay. we to okay, okay. bring out the hard facts, Dan. We have to face the music, and the music is... That <laughs> this is my frags. That Guardian is top, top fragging. To be honest, though... Seize is not too far off from the kind of Zeus Markov range. And he has got five um, assists. He's got the most assists on the server, along with Blade. So, you know, he's, he's softening people up for them to be finished off mm. by his teammates. So where do you really... Because I think this, this game to me looks really, really simple from uh, Na'Vi and Flipside. Like, they, they're both, both teams are playing really standard and basic rounds, but it's just, it's just coming down to who executes all the basics the best, which I is kind of what's fun about watching it. I feel like the weak Maybe. point here is flip side on the CT. Because, okay. because I, I, I feel like that's where the game will be won or lost. Because I think with two Orpers on their team, it makes stuff expensive for them. And they did pretty well, though, to be fair, to get out of the hole that was they, dug for they them. They absolutely did, yeah. But that, that, that's how it is for me. But, it, but again, you have to look like it. When they were on the CT side, like you had that uh, round with Edward, where he just completely obliterated the team. And that one round can ruin their economy. So that can have a much longer lasting effect, in fairness. So if, if they can avoid something like that when they're on the CT side, although uh, that said, they don't even need to avoid that now because it's 16k MR3. So they can buy regardless. <laughs> exactly. So you have to... So who knows? The dynamic has changed yeah, now that we're in the o overtime. Yeah, that's, that's exactly the so same. who the hell knows it? what can happen? Well, and in, in that sense, you would say, okay, now Flipside can buy as many ops as they want. So mm. they have more skill on the op game to actually exert. So maybe you can say, all right, that's going to give them the advantage, but equally so. There's no fear, you could You could say that their style is a little bit more inconsistent, potentially. It's really hard to say. Because the thing is, right, is that Na'Vi, if you actually, if we, if we saw their T side, if you paid, like, paid good attention to it, they had smokes to cover every like, AWP angle and to minimize the damage that Simple and what it could do early on. So I, I don't know. I, f I feel like I, I kind of, I'm liking Na'Vi for this, actually. I, I, I think all the drawbacks of flip side style are negated by MR3 16K. Because it's the, it comes down to the money. That's the problem. Um, so again, while we have a short delay, guys, uh, Asimov was on the, on the uh, stream, because on the screen, and the stream. Because once we hit 450K followers, 
We will give that away to one of you viewers, and that's an open raffle that everyone can enter. We will also have a Huntsman Blue Steel for subscribers. Anyway. I'm not subscribed to the channel, James. Even if you were, I would render you ineligible, Dan. You could, you could enter just so you could feel a bit special, but you have no chance of winning. I, I went on the stream the other day and I was like, oh, I'm not subscribed. I, I'm gonna I do, saw you, I'm trying gonna to do you were trying to do emotes. Yeah, because I'm not subscribed. No. <laughs> um, I could just log into the Face TV account, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cheat. Yeah, My that's, that's what I do. I should, I should, you're making me feel guilty now. Maybe I should subscribe. Yeah, you're not subscribed either. Good, Dan, we're going to both subscribe. I guess I'll do it when I get home. I'll do it when I remember, because mm. my memory is bad. So, right. you're favouring Na'Vi. I'm favouring Na'Vi, uh, yeah. I, I'm not favouring anyone in particular, but I just want to say that I think the, the drawbacks on flip side, CT side, are negated. They're nullified. I like that word. They're nullified, Dan. Okay. Nullified. Neutralized? By MR3 16K. They're nullified. They're neutralised. They're negated. They are other words that start with N. Maybe. Maybe we've reached them all. Those are the only three I can think of for that. Same here. I'm, th I'm thesaurus this right now. I'm rolling for thesaurus. Did we say neutralize? You can say neutralize. Yeah. Did we? Did, was no, that yeah, we said that's the one I added. Okay, sorry. See, mem bad memory. That's what I said. Let's get this go. I think it's game time. Okay. It's game time. It's pain time. All right. So double offs, simple and well done. We didn't see this very much from them. Because as you pointed out, money was a concern before. And so now money is much less of a concern. So we see simple. I think it's important because, because they're holding two orbs. I think it's important to uh, consider their sidearms as well. We can see simple going for the CZ. And well did it. Um, is that a Glock? The thing is, is that the... Uh, the uh, no, it's not a Glock. It's a P250. The thing is, is that the CZ is, is hard to... Dr it's, the draw is terrible. So you can't really use it after an orb switch. You can't switch away from an orb It depends. If you're, if you're around the corner like Guardian is here, then you have an opportunity. Yeah. Oh, he, he got the bonus kill as well oh, on Simple. Nice. Just popped a nade down. Like a, got it into the basketball hoop. Got the swish. Okay, here we go. Three against five now. Flip side down. Couple men and with no map control to really show for it. They're in middle, but they got to take over Connector or Short. And Sweet Markov to get the kill onto Edward in, short, in uh, Connector, sorry, as Palace will be defended. So Markov's kind of alone here. He's got Blade to work with, but he's over by T Spawn at the moment. So Markov with everything to do and not much in the way of resources to do it with. Oh, the nade though. Oh. Saved by the wall. The wall. Saved by the stud wall partition. Well, it doesn't look very stud, but anyway. Okay, so Markov falling as well. Down to Blade. And I, I wonder, how do you feel about. Um, how do you feel about Bondic's position? Because they, they seem to just be waiting for Bondic to appear from Palace every single round. They're just waiting for him. Starix was waiting for him despite what was going on, despite Guardian being taken out behind him. He did not move an inch because he was just waiting for Bondic to appear. That well, time, they were, they were waiting for Bondic yeah. to appear with, with an even more aggressive position. So, like, is he, is he being nullified at the moment well, the in his overtime? About the, the nature of Palace, I don't know if I, actually, I will hold this thought because they're going to go for this, this quick set play on A. So, we'll come back to that a little bit. And so we're in, oh, it's like Misty, the Misty, yeah, misty Mirage. Sometimes. Okay, so we'll come back to that point in a moment. And so it looks like they want to get the set play in. But Xvarius with the quick peek there, catching them with the nades in their hands. Simple to go down immediately. And look at how fast the counter grenades are. All the CTs are all over this push before it's even hit the slope. There's no entry at all to the A bomb site. The entire lineup of Na'Vi are already here. Oh, this is Pearl Harbor right now. Disaster has struck. And what did it is the last man to die. So, so the, the thing with Palace is that I think that that you kind of expect when there's a lot of at, uh, action on middle and slope for the guy in Palace to peek out because there's so much distraction and it's such an easy quick angle and you've got quite an open area to kind of ex that's quite exposed to get a cheeky frag and you capitalize on distraction. So I think that they're just very aware that their teammates can handle their positions and that they have to make sure that that despite distractions, they're keeping Palace locked down. Um, could, that could part, partly be uh, be, uh, be the reason why they're locking that down so hard. Oh, Simple has zero dollars in the bank. So if someone's going to run out of money on a MR360K, it's going to be flip side. Yeah. Edward, what are you doing? I swear, it's like a last round special for him. 
But two uh, revenge frags coming in now. Three versus three. Two CTs, though, here to defend the B bomb site. One has been spotted. It's going to be Seize. He gets a frag on to Markolov, though. Blade trying to flank here, but Zeus will take out Simple as well. So one versus two as uh, he gets that frag. He has got a bomb. He has no idea where the second player is. Play is on short. He finds him, gets a tap onto the head. One versus one now. Seize versus Blade. Blade has to win this round. He must. Otherwise, it's a clean sweep. A clean sweep it will be for Na'Vi. They have three match points right now. Sorry, game points. Excuse me. Yeah, this is looking really solid for them. I mean, we know that they can take some solid, solid rounds on their, their T side. They, they, again, they've got all the smokes to actually minimize their risk when they push in against the AWPers. And it also enables them to actually punish the AWPers uh, quite effectively if they, if they get too aggressive. So I'm liking Na'Vi's chance from just the consistency we saw on their T side of how they picked up rounds and how they supported themselves. I'm liking, liking that for, uh, for them to actually be able to get that one round that they need. But we'll have to see side going to be up against uh, up against it and uh, not going to go with the double orbs here. So that's actually already an interesting interesting development. Yeah, well, like, uh, they've seen the counters, so maybe they're just going to try and avoid mm. it. They uh, trying to patch the holes in the sinking ship here. So it's one at it by CPL who's going to get peaked. But there's the smoke again. This is exactly what I'm talking about. They make it safe as safe as possible by smoking everything off before they push those angles to get rid of those AWPers who've got the better timings than they have. Yeah, and the worst thing is because it's wild at it, they know he's going to be playing CPL and they know he's going to have the AWP. That's a guarantee. And they basically, to, to, we've used a lot of words, but to, they've nullified him for a significant amount of time in this round while they take map control. Yeah, he's been made redundant once they push in the middle. And uh, they've got a flashing over connector here to actually Potentially, sorry for a quick peek, but not sure how yeah, much I think he can see. his teammate on the short, actually. He has a simple as a run away. Oh, yeah, that's it's not high enough, James. And that's going to be a frag on Zeus because of that. And what did it picks up Edward? They didn't move quickly enough past the smoke. And it's now the push has been cut off. It's interesting. In normal time, it was Zeus firing through the smoke. Uh, but now Blade has adjusted and gets the frag instead. That's another one for Blade. It's only two Na'Vi plays remain. So, flip side, not out of this yet. Zeus has fallen. And the AWP is going to come in while well, it finally appears to eliminate Starix. So it's a nice, it's a nice adjustment yeah. there between uh, Underpass and, and Connector where first Blade was getting caught short. Now he is returning the favor to Zeus. And it's such a harsh reality. Is that, okay, just to make it, the best thing we can do is get another overtime by winning every round of the second half. <laughs> that's, like, that's, that's a harsh reality. But one flip side team ready to face and deal with. Uh, that round was pretty clean. But uh, Na'Vi looking to go for, the, go for the bread and butter vanilla opening again. Bomb down at T spawn. Well, Luke never Ed, we can go get it. Well, Luke never veers far from the A bomb site. Here, here he is again around the palace area. Seems to be fond of it. And uh, he will need to try and save his team here as they've already lost one player towards the site. Starek's on a bait, but he's going to go down. Bonnick going to reposition himself. Not expose himself to the uh, numerous T's, but C's will come and take him out anyway. Simple going to stop the uh, push through connector. So now it's Navi players coming from a slope and palace. But well did it. Has other ideas. Seize has left the building. And we've got one seat. The last player, in fact, Edward, is towards uh, CT. Against three. Gets a one-on-one. -on -one, but Simple will prove superior on this occasion. These are very fast rounds here. Na Navi keeping it really simple. And it's not able to defend quite well when the eventual push does come in. Or... That first round was really sick, but it's like we're jumping quite into, the into, the round. into the middle of the next round. So I have to leave that point where it was. Edwards again with that last round auto sniper. Both sides, doesn't matter, and he's used it to great effect. Someone send him a skin though, seriously. Okay, so got the CTs rotating back and forth. In fact, they're all they're playing uh, A for the retake now. Should a push come in the next few seconds from Na'Vi. As they have fortified the B bomb site with three CT players. However, the bomb is still in two spawn. We've got C's rotating from B apps towards the bomb to pick it up. Na'Vi are in control of connector as well. So this push is going to be a strong one unless Simple can do something about it. He seems to have spotted Z's, but look at Edward's position. He's in the ladder room of the auto sniper here, just waiting to execute Simple if he pushes. Edward does find the head of Blade as he pushes into that ladder room. And Guardian just 
tracking down Bondic as well with the AWP. This is looking terrible now for Flipside. Just Markov left against the entire lineup. What is he to do on this rotation? Markov versus the whole world. But he's going to kick things off here with a quick frag onto Edward. That bomb is ticking away, so Markov has to be quick. Time is really against him at the moment. And if Pop Flash himself in, that's a nice one. As he makes his way into jungle. Finds the next player, but that's it. Starx is going to take him down, and there it is. Mirage is won by Na'Vi. So, very tight game, but it is now going to be on Inferno, or potentially decide on Inferno, uh, whether or not we'll go to a Cobble. And I have no idea who Cobble really favours. I, I would maybe think Na'Vi, but... I, I think we'd just say. be guessing because we haven't really just seen guessing Navi all the We time. haven't really seen how, how well drilled these teams are on the cobble but I want to see. So I want Flipside to win Inferno. But but there's not much between these teams at the moment. Oh there really is. Apart not. from Edward's auto sniper. No. That's like the difference. <laughs> That's actually kind of true. Mm. Um Edward has really stepped up in some key moments for the auto sniper today. But guys, we're gonna go to a quick break whilst we set up Inferno map number two here. Winner of this best of three is going to Kiev for the Star Series. 12 finals. Stick with us to find out who it's going to be. We'll see you after the break.